Hello everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. I've been having a few users ask me recently, how do you set up Emulation Station for Windows? So I decided to make a brief video just to show you guys kind of how I do it. Fair warning, I have a mouse and keyboard plugged in, but you don't actually need to have a mouse and keyboard plugged in for this. The first thing you want to do is obviously turn on your A&Neo. You want to go to techtoytinker.com, scroll down to Emulation Station for PC, click the link and download it. Once you do this, you will have one single RAR file. And from that point, all you need to do is go to Downloads, open the RAR. You're going to want to extract it to the C drive is the easiest. You can put it somewhere else as well and it will still work. I just prefer to put it at C so it's with everything else. And this folder is what will come out of that zip or RAR file. Everything is contained inside of this zip. You will add your BIOS, you will add your games directly into the emulation station folder. All of the emulators are already here. If you're on an AN Neo or AN Neo Pro or using an Xbox 360 controller, the controllers are also already preset up. If you want to use something else, it's not very difficult to change. I also want to point out that the part of the back end of this build is done by RetroBat. Anybody who knows me knows that I believe in giving credit where it belongs, and so I've used RetroBat, and I want to make sure that they get credit for their work as well. So from that point, that's about it. You will have extracted, dropped this here. Your games go into the individual folders. Of course, it's there's many different ways that you can go about backing up or dumping your legitimately owned titles. For your disc-based games, it's incredibly easy. Almost any CD drive will do it. For cartridge-based games, you can go on eBay, and you can buy a cartridge dumper for 40 or $50, which will do the exact same thing for you. BIOS are the same deal. If you have the console, which I suspect you should, and it's modded, you get the BIOS directly from your own console. There's other ways to get them too, I know you all know about them, but I'm not going to go into it. Now, in Emulation Station, your themes are here. So it'll be Emulation Station, Emulation Station, dot Emulation Station. Yeah, it's redundant, I know, but it is what it is. Hyperspin, I've gone and I've added a bunch of stuff in there to complete the video. Shahiro and all that other good stuff is in there. Other than that, there's really nothing else that you would need to do. It's quite simply just download the RAR drag the folder out of the RAR to where you want it, I recommend C, and then put your games and BIOS in and launch it, and that's all you have to do. And that's it. After that you'll be taken directly into Emulation Station and you can use it. You just click the EXE file. You can also make a copy of that EXE file and move it to Startup if you want this to boot automatically at Startup. And that's about all you're going to really need to know for this particular build. The only other tidbit of information I want to share with you guys to end this video off is that I am currently in the middle of doing this. This is a 32 gigabyte USB 3 drive which contains a 32 gigabyte Ubuntu 20 build which is also Retro Arena. It boots on the AN Neo and it also works on AMD PCs as well. So basically now we've got a flash drive bootable Ares or Retro Arena, as well as a Windows Emulation Station build going on at the same time. This build will be updated today or tomorrow. The Ubuntu build will be available in a few days. This build is available now. I'm just going to always be adding to it as per usual. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Actually, one more thing before I let you guys go here. I wanted to point out four games. It doesn't matter what game it is. Uh, we'll use PlayStation as an example. You press Select, and you go to Advanced System Options, you can change the emulator used. And that works for every system. So if you try to do 360 and you're finding Xenia is not running the game, change to Xenia Canary. If you're trying to run Sega Chihiro and you find that it's not working, it's probably because you're not using CXBX and you need to change to it. Other than that, there you go. Enjoy the video, and thank you for your time. Have a good day.